Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 22 in the Expression 2 series where we're going to be taking a look at some server information. Now we're going to mainly need the print command for this and that's going to be to display the outputs of these commands. So let's take a look at the map name. We can get that just easy by typing map. We get gm construct. That's good. We can get the host name or the server's name which in single player will be Jer uh, Gary's mod. Is LAN mode activated? We can get that there with is LAN is zero, so it's not active. We have game mode to tell us what game mode we're playing on. We're playing on sandbox, very good. We can get the player's gravity by doing such, so it's going to be 600. Now you can also get the gravity of the prop, so we could say prop gravity, and this is going to return a vector instead, which is going to have a negative z value, which is essentially saying we have a gravity of 600. Okay, so then also we have the air density, and this is going to affect how fast the props will slow down. And friction also plays an effect into this, so we have max friction mass, and that'll tell us the maximum amount of friction. And if we want the minimum amount, type min. That should be close to zero, and that's uh, but not zero at the same time, because that'd be ridiculous. So. Uh, we can put the speed limit, and this is going to limit how fast we can go. Let's look at 4,000. Then we can actually say the angular speed limit, so how fast can we turn things. And we have 72, 72, 0.72, and all that fun stuff. Um, we can get the interval between each tick of the server. So this is going to be kind of the delay between ticks on the uh, server, which should be very small, which it is. We have about 15 milliseconds. And we can also grab the ping for individual players. So we say owner, let's say ping. And that will get my ping, which is about 5. Which, as you can see, that's correct. So these commands are very useful for kind of making like a scoreboard in a sense with expression 2 if you'd be interested in doing something like that. So we can check is this single player? which is very useful if your expression 2 chip will not work on single player. All right, and likewise, we can see, is it a dedicated server? So we say, is it dedicated? And no, this is not a dedicated server. And I'm sorry to disappoint you. Now we have the number of players on the server. You can say number of players. And that's going to be the current amount of players on the server. So we have one, now we have the max players that we can have on the server instead of num and that's also going to be one because this is single player. Now we can also say uh, max of type so we can say max of type and let's use a wire mod type we'll say wire thrusters how about that and when we do that it's going to give us the maximum amount of wire thrusters allowed and you can do it with buttons and all kinds of other things as well it doesn't have to just be thrusters uh, now we can also see if player damage is going to be enabled on the server. So zero. So that's very useful for weapons and if you want to check if uh, there's even a point of having a weapon and if it can damage a player it's very useful. Now we can uh, return a client side convar setting and we put our convars in here. Convars can be uh, looked up as they are uh, they tend to be different depending on servers. I mean, there, of course, there are similar convars on some servers, but for the most part, you're going to have some unique ones that you should go check out. Now, this command, the time command, is able to get the numerical timer date info from the server. So you can say, okay, how many years has the server been up, or what year is it right now? Uh, that would be 2017, okay? And what about the month? Okay, that's the third month, so we got um, the day as well, right here. And you can also get the hours, um, you can get the minutes, we can also get seconds, and let's see, I believe, oh, let me go click on the chip, and we can also get the uh, weekday, right? So. Sunday is going to be 1, and of course uh, Saturday then would be 7. 
or we can get the day of the year. And that's going to be the 85th day of the year. And we can also check is there daylight saving time. So it's going to be a 0 1. It's not daylight savings. So those are all really useful uh, commands for server information. I hope that helped you guys understand what you can and can't do. I recommend using this for maybe uh, maybe a scoreboard or something like that if you want to get really creative with the heads up display. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy this. And if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Dorime,